In this tutorial, we are going to let you get some hands-on experience with Microsoft Excel by creating your first workbook. We are going to create a worksheet which is a sales report of a company's previous year's sales and then we will also make a table showing the next year's sales forecast. In this workbook, we will show you how to enter data, style your worksheet, and calculate a few simple formulas. The first part we're going to go over is entering in your own data. First you need to select cells B2 and cell C2 at the same time. The way you do this is by clicking on cell B2 and while holding the left click button on your mouse, move the cursor over to cell C2. Now, let go of the left click button and cells B2 and C2 should be selected. Now click the Merge and Center command which is in the Alignment group under the Home tab. Now cells B2 and C2 should be merged into one cell and any content entered into this cell area will be centered. Step 2. Now activate the merge cells B2 and C2 and type in Sales Report 2010. Step 3. Now you need to activate cell B3 and type in the word Month. Then activate cell C3 and type in the word Sales. Step 4. Now select both B3 and C3 and click the Center command which is found in the Alignment group under the Home tab. By clicking this you have centered the text within the selected cells. Step 5. Now activate cell B4 and type in J-A-N which is an abbreviation for January. Step 6. After you have entered in J-A-N in cell B4 make sure that cell B4 is selected. Again, you know this because there will be a dark border around cell B4. You should see a small square box at the bottom right of the activated cell. Click on the black box and while holding down the left click button on your mouse, drag it down 11 rows stopping at B15. As you can see, Excel recognized JAN as a month and automatically entered in the rest of the months instead of making you type the months in. Step 7. Now enter in the following numbers into cell C4 and C15 in the exact following format without dollar signs or commas. 20,000, 21,000, 22,500, 35,000, 42,500, 55,000, 60,000, 64,000, 40,000, 38,000, 22,000, and 20,000. Step 8. Activate cell B16 and type in the word TOTAL. Then center the text. Step 9. We are going to use the SUM function in cell C16. Activate cell C16 and then type in the equal sign SUM and a left parenthesis. Then select cells C4 through cell C15 and then close the parentheses by typing in the right parentheses. The content within cell C16 should be as follows the equal sign, SUM, and then inside parentheses cell C4 through cell C15, which will look like C4 a colon and then C15. Press enter and you have just added up all monthly sales to arrive at 2010's total annual sales. Okay the next part we're going to go over is styling your Excel worksheet. Step 1. Select cells B and C2. Click the down arrow on the fill color command and select a color. You have now colored the title of this table. Step 2. Now select cells B3, C3, and B16, where the month's sales in total, and repeat the previous step, but choose a lighter color of your choice. Step 3. Repeat the previous steps for cells C4 through B15, which are the months, and choose a color of your choice. Step 4. Finally, select cell C16 and fill the cell with a very light color to differentiate it from the rest of the cell's numbers. And step 5. We will now add some borders. 
select cells B2 through B16, which is the entire sales report. Click on the down arrow of the border command and select all borders. Now again, you're going to select cells B2 through B16. You're going to click on the down arrow of the border command just like you did previously, except this time you're going to select thick box border to give yourself a thick outline border of your table. Okay, so you've now styled your sales report. The next thing we're going to do is go over the sales forecast. Now we're going to make a table in this sheet which shows a sales forecast that is based on a percentage increase of last year's sales. Okay, step one for this part. Now select cells B2 through C16. There should be a dark border around these cells. Step two. Now you have the entire sales report for 2010 selected. Press Control C to copy this table. Now activate cell E2 and press Control B. You have now copied the 2010 sales report and pasted it three columns to the right. Step 3. Edit the copied 2010 sales report by changing the title to Sales Forecast 2011. Step 4. Select cells F4 through F15. Right click and select Clear Content to empty out the content from the copied cells. Step 5. Activate cell F4. Type in the equal sign and then select cell C4. Type in the star symbol and then type in inside parentheses 1 plus 0 0.10 and press enter. What you just did is refer to cell C4 for data and then multiplied it using the star symbol by 1 plus 10 percent. This is just the beginning of the powerful functions that Excel can perform. Step 6. Activate cell F4. Click the black box on the right bottom corner and drag it down to cell F15. This copied the formula that you entered into cell F4 and dragged it down automatically entering a modified version of the formula into each cell. However, just as cell F4, which is January's forecasted sales, referred to January 2010's actual cells, cell C4, February's forecasted cells, which are in cell F5, refer to February 2010's actual cells, which are in cell C5. Excel recognizes patterns and refers to cells relative to their location. Play with this and you will see what I am trying to explain. Also, if you only want to refer to a specified cell, all you have to do is insert the dollar symbol before the column letter and before the row number. You can also lock only columns, but not rows, or you can lock only rows, but not columns. Again, play with it to understand it in more depth. Step 7. Finally, select cells C4 through C16. Hold down Control and select cells F4 through F16. Now click on the down arrow of the number command and select Accounting. Now your numbers are in the correct format. Congratulations, you have successfully created your first Excel workbook. You learned how to enter data, style your worksheet, perform simple formulas, refer to cells, and copy and edit data. This is just the beginning of what Microsoft Excel can do for you and your business.